Hi, hello, welcome to a new video. I would like to um, describe this article and mention uh, this interesting article. And this article is published in Di Dialogues in Clinical Neuroscience. It's quite um, uh, easy to encounter this journal in Google Scholar. It's interesting. And they have an interesting way of presenting information, like it's French and uh, maybe Spanish, I don't know. And uh, the topic is the assessment of quality of life and clinical practice in patients with schizophrenia. So there are studies they, they like to mention about quality of life. And then there are many ways of scales, I think, ways of measuring symptoms. And this, the aim of the present article is to review quality of life skills. Um, I think they first should write quality of life and then abbreviate it that way. Skills used in studies investigating patients with schizophrenia over the past five years and to summarize the results of quality of life assessment in clinical practice in these patients. So this is um, a systematic review study, I guess. Um, a total of uh, 433 studies using 35 standardized generic and specific quality of life scales in patients with schizophrenia. So 35 different. So because I think there are many, uh, many of them are translated into other languages, I'm not sure if they counted as a different scale. Effective symptoms were major obstacle obstacles for quality of life improvements. In patients with schizophrenia, mm, though positive symptoms, negative symptoms, and cognitive functioning may be seen as largely independent parameters from subjective quality of life. It's also interesting how they are different than quality of life, different than negative symptoms, positive symptoms, and cognitive functioning. Because, uh, yeah, you, there's a chance that they have higher symptoms, symptoms but they, their quality of life is not really changed. And they also investigate how quality of life improvement on long-term symptomatic and functional remission. And uh, so, the results of the present review suggest that quality of life is a valid and useful outcome criterion in patients with schizophrenia. As such, it should be consistently applied in clinical trials. And uh, understanding the relationship between symptoms and functioning with quality of life is important because interventions that focus on symptoms of psychosis or functioning alone may fail to improve subjective quality of life to the same level. However, the lack of consensus on quality of life scales hampers research on its predictive validity. So, so there, there are different version, versions of uh, quality of life scales. That's why I think future research needs to find consensus on the concept and measures of quality of life. But you can say it for everything, measures of positive symptoms, negative symptoms, and test whether quality of life predicts better outcomes with respect to remission and recovery under consideration of different treatment approaches in patients with schizophrenia. And I cannot continue this because I don't know Spanish, I guess, and this is maybe French. I have no idea. And uh, this is the introduction. It seems Google likes that type of uh, trilingual writing. I don't know, but it's helpful and interesting. And thanks for watching this video. If you are interested in, you can read this article in detail. And thanks for watching this video. Wish you have a beautiful day. Bye bye.